her candidature sprung a surprise. Can she emerge as the giant slayer? Joining me now is Madhavi Latha, the woman who has been made in charge of this lodging, Mr. Asaduddin Ovesi, who has been an MP from Hyderabad Lok Sabha constituency since the since 2004. His family has held on to that bastion since the last 40 years now. Big responsibility. Yeah, I would definitely say it's a big responsibility, not because Asad Bhai is, has been winning there. It's a big responsibility because I have to educate the voters that for whatever they have been undergoing, it's because of that small uh, way, uh, that uh, thinking that just they took it up. Mm -hmm. And they need to now think big way. That will only change their lives that will only change their prosperity towards a brighter future of the constituents. But did you see this coming? Because your candidature, as I mentioned in my intro, you pipped the likes of Raja Singh and other hopefuls also. And uh, did you see this coming? Did you, did you sort of sign up for this huge role that the party has reposed their faith in you? I would say that, you know, I was listening to this while the entire country was listening to this. I have no clue that this will happen. Yeah, it's a different story that I have been working in this constituency. And I have never tried to impress anybody. I have been myself and I am myself. I shall stay back myself, whoever I am. I've always been working in the best interest of the constituency. And rather I would now should reinstate this, reinforce that I've never worked on a communal basis. Mm. Because I'm also loved by Muslim women. I'm also liked by Hindu families. Mm -hmm. Because I believe in understanding pain and not take advantage of somebody's problem. Yes, uh, I was thrilled and it's, I was equally shocked. Now, besides being, let's talk a little bit about yourself. Besides being associated with a big private hospital here in Hyderabad, uh, you're somebody who's a strong proponent of Sanatan Dharm. And you are fighting in a constituency where at least 59% uh, of the voters are Muslims. So where does the balance match? So we all have to know and, and try to understand one thing. Sanatan Dharma, which is Hindu Dharma, mm. always has taught that understand the pain of people. Mm. And the people can be anybody. Mm. It doesn't have to be that the p people who are in problem or pain have to be, have, have to be somebody who belongs to your own sect. Mm. or have to be Hindu. Mm. It's very clear. It says that it is a dharma. Mm. And what does dharma means? Dharma basically means that what you think is an injustice for you mm. should be understood that it is injustice for others also. Mm. What can make you feel problematic or what hurts you, pains you, equally pains and hurts your opponent also. In this dharma, what I have learned is that I have no difference between Hindu and Muslims when it comes to really solving their problems and pain. Mm. With this attitude, when I walked into a lot of Muslim communities, especially women, because I've been only typically working with women and orphans. Mm. So le let me be very clear on this note. I've been working only with women and pasmanda and a lot of orphan children. I've always realized and I've understood that they are not somebody who that constituency would want to project as. Mm. They are somebody who need help. Mm. They are somebody who need justice. Mm. They are somebody who is looking forward, somebody to hold their hand and make them, help them walk towards mm. development and prosperity. So I don't see anything really, you know, very difficult for me because maybe that's how I am looking at so that's how it's appearing to me. So it also depends, you know, like uh, there's a kahavat uh, in our Telugu language. When you have joined, you have to say, you know, the whole eye is going to be filled. So the world is going to be filled with the world. This is a kahavat. So you are just going to be thinking, you are just going to be thinking, you are just going to be thinking. The way you are thinking, that's how you would find the world to look like. And I found all my Hindu fraternity, very nice, very helpful because now look at this. There's one more thing. They all know that I work for Muslims. Mm. Okay, let, the, let, let us come from the other side of it. Mm. They all know I work for Muslims. Mm. 
they they know that i work for lot of women they know that i work for children i they know that i work for uh, girl child mm. they know that i am doing medical camps for them and they've been so nice to me they all work with me they help me in getting in this stuff so you're confident of uh, getting the confidence of muslims in that constituency because something that even your uh, predecessors have not been able to do it see i would want to tell one thing dear what my pre predecessors have done is very different from what i'm doing right now because they didn't have somebody like prime minister modi ji hmm. who in his second term especially because first time he had a lot of he had a lot of things to handle like abhi main jit jane ke baad jaisa mujhe bahut sara kaam hota hai na idhar udhar saaf karne ke liye uske baad in his second term he worked aggressively to ensure that the women and everybody who suffered getting justice should get justice mm. i would say that this is a, a very big change and movement that would bring into the constituency muslim women especially yes i'm so sure they all would be loving heart of hearts mm. to vote to modi ji but modi ji to delhi mein baithe hue rehte hain na to to pradhan mantri hai mm. तो यहाँ लोकली आपने किसको डिप्लॉय किया इस वक्त एक औरत को उम्मीद दिलाने के लिए कि मैं हूँ आपके साथ वो तो औरत ही दे सकती है या ये तो करिश्मा है एक तरह से कि यू नो लाइक आई एम रियली फॉर्चुनेट दैट आई हैव गॉट अपॉर्चुनिटी बाय द सेंट्रल टीम एज वेल एज अ लॉट ऑफ काइंड कोऑपरेशन ऑफ द लोकल स्टेट लीडर्स ऑल्सो आई एम श्योर बिकॉज इट इज एन आंसर नॉट डजेंट रिक्वायर एनी काइंड ऑफ एन यू नो लाइक प्रूफ i'm sure the state leaders along with the central leaders have come forward to choose me maybe they would have thought definitely that i will stand up for women justice now uh, while the bjp has renewed its focus on pasmanda muslims and you have fought for triple talaq you were an activist we've seen you cover the ground but let's talk about the narrative you know especially the local state unit here has been focusing on narratives like changing the name of hyderabad to bhagyanagar uh raza cars and then uh, linking to the fact that old city is a hub of rohingya muslims and the narrative that asaduddin owaisi has been able to build is that look at what bjp is doing they're demolishing masjids all around the country and there is a threat in this battle of perception and war of words how would you be able to convince your candidate in a constituency where it's completely dominated by the minority group I think your one question has too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you come to the remarks of Rohingya Muslims, mm. we all know that they are not born Muslims of this nation. Mm. So obviously, why should you share your your own Muslims bread to them? Mm. Shouldn't you be for your own Muslims, all of us for that matter? Why should we share our own Muslims' rights? and their piece of bread to some other person who is comes from some other country to us doesn't really matter i'll give you one more counter example to that if this muslim of india mm. travels to any other muslim state i mean the country of the world do you think this muslim gets equal rights the muslim there gets do they get no and how can a foreign muslim who doesn't belong to the native place of this land how how can he get equal uh, rights to enjoy everything that's the pain here the pain is not anything else we would want a local muslims indian muslims to enjoy now when it comes to triple talaq mm. we all know as a woman you are also a woman i am a woman we all know what it takes when suddenly one man decides that he is we want to throw a woman from a life a married lady kaha jayegi wo kya karegi wo how do we stand up for that woman we need to stop that right that's the gesture which has been done now how people would want to look at it a man would always look at it from a different perspective a woman would look at it at a different perspective mm -hmm. i want to look at it as from a woman's perspective what is your x factor i would say that you know like that too many things in one portly you know for me i have it's it's like you know an overnight a screen has been opened now they say that you need, you you've been given the responsibility 
of a constituency whose doors have been closed since many years now what do i have to tell it's 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 a big long length list but then i would only say one thing please wake up it's time we see sun rising there it's time we see sun rising there and what's your challenge to mr asaduddin obaisi it's going to be a big fight that everyone's going to watch obviously obviously everybody knows that even i am i've been for 25 years there my first vote as at the age of 18 i've cast it to bjp my first vote when i turned 18 i turned 18 in yakutpura constituency and i voted bjp then also so it's it's not that you know suddenly today you know i started loving bjp mm. but then what is that i would want to tell asuddin bhai is that if still all of you want me to convey something through your channels then i would want to tell that bhaiya jitna ho sake ho gaya aapse 40 saal ab bari hamara hai hum dikhayenge aage kya hona hai okay on that note my final question if i am to give you five different things that you would want to do in hyderabad constituency if elected to power what would those be the first thing is uplift all those women whose voice has been suppressed mm. i want them to have the freedom to raise their voice so i would ensure that they are protected to raise their voice because the voice may have many things the voice need money the voice needs uh, clothes the voice may need uh, education the voice may need health so now i would want to summarize in one thing that their voice would be heard and heard with all security and safety besides that besides that i would also want that all youngsters should be given jobs because agar aap if you go into old city you will see lot of youngsters without any job loitering here or there 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 that is not how a youngster of this country has to be right they need to be protected they need to be given jobs they need to be made confident they need to participate for their family and for the nation i imagine ideal man's brain is devil's workshop mm. you are letting it happen mm. then obviously will produce a devil's brain right there mm. so if this has to be curtailed curtailed you know they have to be given an opportunity to prove themselves a real good factor for the family and for the nation then comes all the children and their nutrition mm. because being a mother my 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 heart always would hate there they're very badly malnutritioned mm. we need to look at up to their nutrition you know to see that how they can really be helped sanitization you know roads cleanliness what can i tell what can i miss the, the the list is really 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 big ultimately i would say all summarized into one sentence that they need hope mm. hope by somebody who would stand up for them without dividing the constitution on the name of religion mm. they also want peace which they have proved in 2023 election by decreasing their percentage so it means that jagne lag gaye log at a one narrative the ruling government here is congress they say that your party asaduddin owaisi's party aimim and the brs are hand in glove with each other this narrative also costed the brs to an extent that they lost on to a lot of minority voters uh, owaisi being termed as b team of bjp is something that keeps coming again and again how is your view on that giving me giving see to me itself tells that that all the false statements bjp would not have given me the seat if that's true mm. if bjp has given me the seat that means that it's a good thing that they've blown onto the faces of the people who would want to repeatedly say that he's the b team it's not possible they have chosen truth to fight against asad asaduddin and the truth is Asad Bhai is not the B team of BJP. Okay, one question that you didn't answer: Hyderabad or Bhagya Nagar? Would that? Yeah, where do you? Yeah, you, you put so many questions in one <laughs> question. I was just thinking, I missed something. What did I miss? Okay, before whatever Hyderabad has been named today, mm. it still carried the name of Bhagya Nagar. You know that? Mm. Do you know about that? Before Hyderabad, way back, it did have name Bhagya Nagar. एंड भाग्य नगर इज नेम्ड आफ्टर भागमती जो उनके घर की बहू है अब की बात जरा बहू को भी चांस दे देते हैं ना <laughs> उनकी घर की तो बहू है क्यों बहू के नाम पे नहीं चलना चाहिए एक कॉन्स्टिटेंसी बस हम प्यारे बहू के नाम से ले लेते हैं और उनके नाम से अगर लगा भी दिया है भाग्य नगर तो कौन सी बुरी बात है कौन सी गलत बात है कभी भी कभी इस तरफ भी तो थोड़ा चांस मिलना चाहिए
और चांद शायद मिल जाएगा उन्हीं के घर के बहू के शान बढ़ाएंगे हम यादगार बना देंगे on that note all the very best we'll keep running into you as we proceed towards the next crucial months of lok sabha elections again uh, wish you the best ma'am thank you dear thank you so much